ho, 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 yes. Oh, man. Hey, guys. <laughs> it's Sunday morning, pretty early. It's about 6 o'clock. Came out to the shop this morning. I had my this part printing all night, and uh, I was so excited to come out and see what I had uh, that... I didn't have my cup of coffee or get ready, but wow, this is a new world's record for the largest part. Uh, looks like I'm looking down here, it's 19 hours, uh, 8 minutes. That's really awesome. Wow, aside the fact that it got a little bit of black, it looks like AB from leftover from the ABS reel that I had in there. Uh, really, really neato. So, I'm going to go get uh, cleaned up, <laughs> get my cup of coffee, and then we'll take a look at this thing a little closer. Doing much better now. Got cleaned up and got my coffee. Anyway, this is a... Uh, something that looks uh, resembles something like a vacuum uh, type nozzle and the reason I made this is uh, a while ago I made a uh, uh, oven for doing surface mount work and uh, it's got some pretty nasty fumes and I just jur jury rigged a uh, PVC uh, hood for it and uh, always had in mind uh, printing something like this um, it really turned out cool <laughs> I'm really excited about it. It looks like it's going to work perfectly. Um, Repetier actually showed the print time as uh, <clears throat> being 16 hours 12 minutes. So that's definitely the world's record for the Berry Bot print. Um, and definitely the biggest uh, print that I've done. It's about overall print length is about. 13 and a half and the height on it is right at about seven inches so yeah pretty exciting I'll go ahead and I'll pop it off and um, we'll take a look at it a little closer it's really cool you can actually see the facets the uh, triangles if you look at it just right in the light you can't see it like straight on but as soon as you get to the side of it um, you can see the facets that were shown in the SolidWorks model and uh, it's um, really cool. Anyways, this is what this is what I mean about having a big enough platform that you can actually make real-world parts. Um, you know, I envision people making um, intake manifolds and uh, you know, so that uh, basically plugs that they can make molds uh, and whatnot with. Uh, really, really neat. There she is. Pretty nice. I sliced this with K slicer or Kiss slicer, and um, the reason I did that is that it does a really good job if you make your model in SolidWorks as a solid model, and you use the um, the hollow feature and uh, turn off a few other settings that really can do a nice job of giving you a perimeter thickness that's very consistent and so uh, that's why I like using that my buddy uh, Sublime that you see on there he gave me some tips that really made it easy uh, thanks to you buddy anyways yeah I've really uh, really excited to get this on my oven and uh, get it hooked up probably add a couple years to my life of printing <laughs> anyway we'll take a look at the SolidWorks model here and um, so here's my SolidWorks model that I designed it's a rather simple design um, just looks like a big vacuum 
nozzle. It's specifically the shape and the offset there so that it fits my uh, bench well. Um, and I put the nozzle right at the opening of my oven. It's so cool to be able to design something in SolidWorks and then take it and make that out of it. You can see the profile. It's exactly. Really neat. And dimensionally, it should be very close. There we go, inches. And it was set up for a three inch. For a three inch, um, you can see it's right on the money. That's for a three inch tube. Um, you know, earlier on when I did the video on the test cube, I actually had one of my settings was off for my steps on the motors. And uh, after I corrected that, it's been dead nuts. I'm really, really pleased with the, uh, with the dimensional uh, accuracy. You know, a lot of people are always talking about, oh yeah, deltas, you know, they don't do a good job when they get to the outer part of the, uh, of the platen. Well, that's not true. Yeah. And you can see the, li the lines are nice, perfectly straight. I'll put a straight edge up against it. I mean, that's just, that's just perfect. I love it! Nice. You know, when I first got the pop model started, sometimes I run a little heavy on the flow. And um, I did that uh, the first uh, first few layers there. I, I forgot to bring it bring it set bring it back to 100%. And so <laughs> it started getting a little more material than it needed down at the first few uh, first few layers. But um, anyway, yeah, it turned out neat. This black stuff in here, I believe that's ABS. That's left over from all the black prints that I did. There must have been a few pieces still stuck in there, and it doesn't take much. This still this coloration here, you know, I put a fan, this fan right up here, uh, blowing on the model um, shortly after I started it, and um, it did a pretty good job. I mean, it's really sound, um, but. Uh, I don't know, I think uh, this discoloration, maybe it was a little bit too much heat. Uh, if you guys know, let me know what you've experienced with this yellow. I think it, it could have been just the um, little bit of remnants from my ABS uh, coming into the into the nozzle. But um, anyway, yeah, I'll pull it apart and uh, we can take a closer look. Well, I got her popped off pretty easily. You can see what a nice job. Uh, the raft did. I was afraid with this being as long as it was, uh, it would warp, but it didn't really warp much at all. Um, actually, it looks really quite perfect. Even on something that long, I would have thought that it would have warped just a little bit, but I mean, yeah, there's even after pulling it off, you can see it's pretty darn good. So I don't know how easy this raft is going to come off of here. But this is done with K-Slicer. I'll probably go ahead and have to chop this uh, chop this raft off because it's adhered really good. I made sure I had a lot of heat at the beginning to make sure that uh, that initial bond was really good. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and run it over to my uh, run it by my sander a couple times and it'll take that raft right off of there. Very neat. I don't know if you can see the um, see the facets that I was talking about. You can actually see in the model. You can see if the light gets just right. You can see the, uh, the facets on it. I mean, once this is, uh, I think I'll probably go ahead and I wanted to try something. Um, 
I'll go ahead and prime it up and uh, clean it up. I got something I wanted to try. I think this would be a good model for it. Anyways, yeah, really neato. I'll go ahead and show you some more images when I get it on there. Um, oh, I could show you in case slicer too. The um, oh, I got something else in case slicer right now. Oh yeah, this is something else I made. This is kind of cool. This is for my extruder. Um, I can go ahead and I'm going to put a little heavier spring in my extruder, but this is a uh, little lock to keep it uh, unlocked. You just snap it over the um, the lever that I have, spring-loaded lever, and then it locks on the back of the separate motor. So I did a little test with the yellow making this part before I did this part. <laughs> One more thing, I have the model off and this just blows my mind. Um, I went ahead and wanted to just take a real close look at the accuracy of the um, of the print. This uh, is set up for a three inch uh, piece of uh, polyurethane flex tube and I'll show you how I install this on my oven but uh, anyways I want you just to look at this. Um, if I just kiss that right up against it, just barely kiss it look at that I'm just barely touching and it's right at 3.00 I mean that's, <laughs> that's amazing we'll try this direction just barely get it right there that is unbelievable it's within a couple thousands that's in three inches both directions pretty awesome yeah that's nice Hey, we're over at my workbench here and uh, got her all cleaned up. Took the raft off. Um, a tip I wanted to share with you, I just discovered, anybody that's done any woodworking knows about um, these scrapers. These are woodworking scrapers. A lot of times they're used to scrape glue off of seams or take grain off that's a little high off of wood pieces. One thing that's neat, I took one of them and I just split it to make a little small handheld tool. But one thing that's really cool about it is like when you have sharp edges, you can take it and just uh, run it up and it does a really nice job of deburring almost like an aluminum deburring aluminum so um, yeah I just cleaned it up you can see on my bench here all my little shavings but you know just took the sharp edges off it's able to clean up uh, clean it up in just a few minutes yeah it looks really good So anyways, yeah, that's a cool tip. You can find these at like uh, Rockler or um, um, Woodcraft uh, stores. They make all different kinds. But um, yeah, it worked out slick. This uh, PLA is so hard that it just uh, scrapes off really nicely. So anyways, yeah, really cool. It's going to be neat. You can see the uh, PVC one that I've been using on my oven it's uh it's pretty bad that's it right there it's um i just threw it together quickly get my uh and it's going to replace that All right. i'll show you once i get it in Sure is fun being able to do these bigger parts. Uh, this couldn't have turned out any better. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to end up making printing a couple little uh, supports for in here, even though it's fairly rigid. I'll put a couple little ribs in here, and this is going to work out really cool. Another thing I printed the other day was this is a birdhouse. It's actually not a birdhouse. Um, I made this for a friend. It's going to have a couple of motion sensors. 
on a pedestal, steel pedestal, uh, motion sensors pointing out of each side and it's going to monitor a driveway. But uh, printed up a little roof for it as well. So that turned out pretty cool. You can actually see the uh, shingles on the roof. Pretty neato. Hey, I'll let you take a quick look at a uh, quick look at that little um, tool that I made for my um, that's all that I used in the way of um, plastic that was a brand new reel when I started that uh, that hood that vent hood this is a little uh, gadget that it just hooks on here and then snaps over snaps over that so that that this uh, disengages the uh, filament so that I can do quick changes and work down at the hot end. So yeah, it works good. It's cool to make your own tools. Well, till next time, happy printing.